All right, good morning, fellow Air and Space geeks. It is Mick here from ECG Air and Space, and I wanted to do, start today with a update on ISON. Some of this stuff happened after my morning update uh, yesterday, but I still want to throw it into this video. Um, yesterday morning, ISON had a gas and dust kick up, which was expected as it gets closer to the sun. It's starting to get even more energized, per se. Um, now, Around November 13th and forward, the ISON had a U-shaped hood to it, uh, and there was a group of German scientists who did a study and analyzed it, and there they came to the conclusion that it was caused by one or more large br fragments breaking off of the comet itself. So that could be leaning towards the fact that it could break up sometime between now and Thanksgiving as it goes around the sun, but hopefully not. But an update on speed, it's moving at about 234 feet per second, so it's moving pretty quick. Um, and as it gets near the sun, it's going to get a lot hotter. It's going to be around 20 around almost 3000 degrees uh, centigrade so it's going to be it's going to it's going to get real hot considering it's held together, together by you know ice and frozen gases and things like that um, but uh, there are some scientists though who are worried that the rapid rapid brightening that is coming along with the comet in the past couple of days could be the comet breaking apart so again there there's still that concern that it is breaking apart but if it survives it'll continue to get brighter so you know the only way they're going to find out for sure is if it does not survive and just breaks apart here. So it's pretty much a waiting game. There is no big developments today so far, but like I said, if I hear anything, I will make a video of it. So yeah, thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day.